Hey everybody and welcome to my first episode of My Own Version Mondays. Um Okay, that's not okay. That was kinda okay. Um Yeah. So first of all, I don't know who I'm gonna be doing these. Um yeah, well anyway. It's kinda like a pilot T V episode pretty much. Um It's like I try it out. If you guys like it, I'll keep doing these. If not, then I'll stop. So comment below if you want me if you want me to do this every other Monday. So it's just a mind version of DC or Marvel people, or sometimes they could be mixed. This one happens to be on DC people. It's a, a fan-made team called the United Legion of Justice. And then their villains are the Injustice Legion. They're not united. Um, yeah, so I got like 15, 16, or I forgot how many heroes. And then we got our villains back here, which you cannot see. Okay, so, we'll start right here, which you cannot see who this is, but whatever. We've got, first one, the Super. Now, this is just a standard Superman. Well, not a standard Superman. This is, um, this universe is Superman. Pretty much, the Super. Um, he is pretty cool. Um, he, it's the, the origin's the same, except instead of crash landing in Smallville, he crash landed in, um, Metropolis. And he still grew up there, and he was raised there. You know, stuff like that. But since he was in Metropolis, and there's, like, a lot of crime going on and stuff when he was a kid, which, fun fact, Metropolis is in Delaware. Gotham City's in New Jersey, and so I can do that in a separate video. Anyways, um, so there was a lot more crime around him, so he became, uh, as a kid sometimes, um, like, he'd have to use his super strength or something to escape from some guy. I don't know. And so he is pretty much a Superman, just a bit more violent. Like, I guess you could say he's like, um, Dark Knight Returns Batman. Mixed with... Red Hood. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay, the next guy is a hero known as the Bizarre One. Or Super Bizarre. I'm going with Bizarre One. Anyways, so this is a clone of Superman created by Luther. And he, um, had to wait for, like, eight years for him to be fully, like, the super, sorry. The super. Anyways, so, while people were breaking into LuxCorp, they, um, released, um, the bizarre one. And I'm just gonna say he's bizarro. I'm not gonna try to change everybody's name. Uh, I didn't, but anyway. So they released Bizarro, and he went on this rampage and stuff and stopped them. So he's literally just Bizarro. That's it. And if you're making a custom Bizarro, bizarro figure, this would be a good body to use. Um, or you could just stick with this. Which is what I did. Um, but it's more purple, you can do that. Um, by the way, I'm not keeping these figures. They're just for this video. Okay, so the next guy, and you might be a bit surprised about him being here, sort of. This is the Riddler. Real name, Damian Wayne. 
Okay, that it, it's kind of weird. A bit. Um. Anyways, so he is pretty much just the Riddler, same concept, but he's naming Wayne. He's a good guy. And um, whenever he's done with um at a crime, um, he will lead a riddle. Um, and the answer to the riddle will pretty much be. Um, or a set of r riddles will be the next villain or villains he's going to try to take down. To just kind of pretty much give the police a heads up. Sort of. Um, but besides that, he's very much just a question. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and in this universe. Oh, I don't know if my camera. Okay, anyways. In this universe, um, Batman, well, the Batman type character, which you'll see in a second, um, did, does not have a whole bunch of Robins. Um, he just, and he got all of the, instead of getting, like, Dick Grayson and Jason Dodd and all that, he pretty much got them all around the same time, same two, p two year period, pretty much he got him first, um, he, like, Four months later, or something he got Red Hood and so forth. Anyways, so that's pretty neat. Okay, so next guy we got the Bat Detective, which he still has the same Batman abilities, Bat gadgets, Bat vehicles, all that same stuff, except he's more of a detective than a hero. Pretty much, it's just if you get Sherlock Holmes, the Bat Belt. And Batmobile. You get this guy. Which, he... He looks really cool. I really like his outfit with the... Fedora and trench coat. Looks... Really nice, I think. Um... Yeah, he still got his battering. Pretty nice. Um, gray gloves. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. Um... Yeah, pretty cool. And I knocked over a guy. Next one we have is the Red Hood. Um, he's still Jason Todd. He's still Red Hood. <laughs> um, so he didn't die. He was nearly killed. Um, so... Yeah, and that's a bit different. Um, so he was nearly killed instead of dying, pretty much like the Arkham Knight version of him. Uh, Bruce thought he died. Found out he didn't. He was the, uh, first Robin. See, he still does have Robins, but... He was the first one before he died, and then the second one I didn't make. Because she is not a, um member of the United Legion of Justice. Um, which, in case you want to know, it's Carrie Kelly is the current Robin, current and second one in this universe. Who's the uh, Robin from the Dark Knight Returns. Anyways, yeah, so pretty much the same concept with him. Except the original was the original one was not with the Justice League. Um, really nice. This time it actually has a red hood. Yeah. And he fell over. Okay, so um, next guy is Nightwing. Who he was the third person that Batman got. Um. And he wanted to strike fear into the hearts of criminals. Kind of like in the main universe how he dressed up as a bat. And also faces fear because he was afraid of bats. So he dressed up as a spider. No way, he wasn't that way. I changed his name. Um, it was the Night Spider. Anyways, so, because spiders don't have wings. Anyways, so he um, is... A pretty dark DC guy as well, like Batman.
I'd say he's more like Batman than Batman is in this universe. And his real name? Tim Drake. Ba 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 Yeah, whatever. Um, there's the back. I think I already showed you that. Anyways, um, next guy. Moving right along here, we got... The hero known as... Luther. Dun dun dun. Now, I, I know you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. Luther never, ever, ever has blue. Okay, okay. I know you're really thinking he never has hair. But yeah. He I think he looks kinda weird bald. Which originally he wasn't, but that's a story for another day. Um I like him better with hair. Now baldness is pretty cool, but Lex Luthor just didn't have the capabilities, I believe, to becoming a worthy bald person. So, as the hero known as Luther, I may I gave him hair and a goatee. Enough of that. Okay, so he is pretty much just Lux Luther, but a good guy. Yeah, that that's that's it pretty much. Um. Except, like I said, with this one, he still created Bizarro. That's kind of why, um, supposed to be, supposedly, why he's in purple and blue. Because he is. And this is the Luther logo in this universe, those dots. Yeah. Pretty cool, I guess. Um,. Yeah, so this is Luther. I kind of thought of him being a good guy, because in the New 52, he's a hero, which I really like that. I think it's really nice for him. Anyways. Whoa, this video is 12 minutes long. I need to hurry it up. Okay, anyways, the next guy is the Green Guardian. Um, he is Hal Jordan. Um, and... He, it's pretty much the same thing as the Green Lanterns, except, um, there, there's still a lot of these guys, except instead of being for the world, they're for one, is for each country. And it's like, one for a different color. Sometimes it's a shade, because it could be like, the, there's like the Green Guardian, there could be the Blue Guardian, the Turquoise Guardian, Light Green Guardian, um, the Dark Blue Guardian, the Reddish Brown Guardian, you know, different different stuff like that. And he is an agent of Spiral, which is like what Dick Grayson is a part of as Agent 37. And instead, they're like different color people. Anyways, so while he was flying, a little ship picked him up that was with Spiral. And that's why Hal Jordan, everyone thinks he's gone missing, because he disappeared while he was flying, dun dun dun. And they gave him a suit, they, which gave him the ability to fly, and two guns with different voice-activated settings, like Judge Dredd's gun, except he has two of them. There's like, laser gun mode, regular bullet mode, um, flamethrower mode, uh, freeze gun mode grappling hook mode, you know, different stuff like that. Um, and then, an uh, interesting thing, I think, is, um, he never has to reload his gun w when he's on bullet mode. So, yeah, that's the Green Guardian. Next, we have two people, technically. We have the Green Archers. Now, Oliver Queen was going to an island with his parents and his foster brother Kyle Ranner. And so, um, uh, an evil bad guy 
who is very bad guy-ish, killed Oliver's parents and Kyle's foster parents at the same time. Could have sent people. Anyway, so, um, they stopped him and became the Green Archers. There's, he is the Green Arrow, um, Kyle is, and then he's, uh, the Arrow. Pretty nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the Green Archers are a duo, and then they're both with, um, the United Legion. So, pretty cool. Next guy, we got Black Adam. So, in not all, but in some, I think in most, I want to say, yeah, I'm pretty sure in most universes, Shazam was created to stop Black Adam, who had turned to a villain. Or neutral, technically, but anyways. So, um, in this universe, he never did. So he's still a hero, Black Adam. So Billy Benson never became Shazam. He was just. Well, we'll get to who he became in a moment. Um, five moments actually. Yeah, so, Black Adam. Our next guy is the Martian. Uh, in the, the Martian, um... So, the Martian's pretty cool. I mean, he's Martian Manhunter. This version, if you didn't already know. Um, he has the same... No, he has a different order, I forgot. Um, so, what he is, is... On Mars, he was falsely accused of being an evil villain, so he escaped to Earth and became a hero as the Martian. Eventually, when the other Martians shown up, he's like, "Wait, you got it all wrong. It's him." Pointed to Malafaik. This version of which I did not make. Um. Yeah. Anyways, so then he became a hero, and the Martians are like, okay, it's all good, but then he decided to stay on Earth as a hero. Next one is Princess Diana. Or just Diana, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, let's just make it Diana. That probably would fit better. Who is the daughter of Darkseid in this universe? And she is pretty much just, she was originally just Galactus' herald, pretty much one of those guys that's like, your world's gonna end, um, bye. Type of thing. Um, but when she came to Earth, she's like, you know, he won't end so bad. And she turned good. And, um, sought out to defeat her father. Something like that. Defeat her father, that sounds, that, that sounds about right. So that is Diana. Next we have the Atlantean King. Who originally was a villain, or a neutral, who faced the United Legion. Because people would, like, swim and scuba dive in his waters. And he'd be mad, so he's like, rawr, I'm a villain. And he's like, oh wait, you guys didn't know about Atlantis. So it's all good. And he became the hero at, known as the Atlantean King. Who's, this universe is Aquaman. But... He still has the same superpowers, um, bullet resistance, super strength, can talk to animals. He also has, he can control water, so he can, like, turn it, melt it, freeze it, turn gas, like, speed up the water cycle, pretty much, he can do that, anything. And he can also, like, shoot at people. Next one is an interesting one. Gregory Sanders. Um, and the main universe is Vigilante. Um, when his parents and br brother were captured by the evil villain known as Slade, he became a hero known as Deathstroke to stop them. 
He stopped him and remained the hero. The hero and his deathstroke. So yeah, he's a deathstroke in this universe. And Slade is just Slade. Next guy we got is Captain Frost, I believe. Captain Frost. Um, so in this universe, like I said before, Shazam was never created because Black Adam never turned bad, so there was no need to get another one to take his place. So Billy Batson was a very poor man who ended up working with um, Mr. Freeze for a short time. Now while he worked with him, he just ended up taking his gun, that was the only reason why I worked with him, taking his spare gun and use it to become a superhero. Who so he's this version Shazam and uh Captain Cold. So he became the superhero using the freeze gun. Eventually he used it so much his um body got used to it or something and now he can shoot out of his hands somehow. Okay, that one sounded like it was written in the golden age of comics. Or anything could happen and no one would question it. Kinda like today's government. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> um next we have let me move these guys out of the way. Um We got the villains, who so I was wanting to only have there be five. But uh that's uh two more than five. So I'm going to start right here. And I bet you all are wondering, where is Barry Allen? Or whatever, but he's right here. And a very different different origin in this universe. So when his mother died, Barry got all mad about stuff. Um, and became a villain. Named uh, Barry Allen. Yeah. Anyways, so as the villain Barry Allen, oh yeah, he um, it turned him insane. That's why he became so not only a villain, just more like a psychopath. So while he was robbing Star Labs, a lightning bolt came, struck the um thing of chemicals, and then they all fell on him. Same stuff happened, and he became the Shadow. Oh, I just remember this is already a superhero called The Shadow. Um, uh, I guess I'm just gonna call him The Flash. If you know a better name, comment below. Okay, so the next guy is Firefly. I know that's not supposed to be a prison suit. Um, so, Lieutenant Gordon, who's about to become commissioner, um, his, all, his whole family. Um, okay. Anyways, his family was burned, um, which is his wife, his two sons, and... Oh, you can see my cat in the background. Look at that. She was... What did she mess up my script? Oh, no, it's all good. Okay, anyways... Okay. So, um... Oh, now it's kind of blurry. Because I did that. Um... I can still tell what he looks like. Okay, so... That drove him insane and into a pyromaniac. Somehow, I don't know how that made him a pyromaniac. Anyways, so he became Firefly. Okay, and, um, anyways, the next villain is Deadshot. Deadshot was, um, a former police officer who ended up becoming a marksman. And he was a really good marksman, but everyone thought he was a terrible marksman. And he got mad at everyone for thinking he wasn't good at shooting stuff. So he became Deadshot. 
Pretty cool. Um, kind of. Yeah, so dead shot. Like him or don't. Next guy we have is the Joker. So, Jimmy Olsen was a very nice man who used to work at the Daily Planet. He quit there to become a comedian. Nobody thought he was funny. Except for his mother. And his dad, too, I guess. And he thought he was funny, obviously. And so did his friend Clark. Oh, no, 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 no. To change things, his, cl his friend Clark thought he sucked. So, he became a villain known as the Joker. To get revenge on people for not thinking he was funny. And, uh... Keys is face paint. Oh my goodness. Thanks, blurriness. Okay, um, I don't not know. Wait, maybe if I do this again. Wait. Hey, the bugs now. Okay, that's not too much better. Okay. So, he became the villain known as, um, the Joker. And he uses face paint, that's why he has skin colored hands, and his hair is still orange. <laughs> the Joker. Yeah, he's like so much scarier in this universe. Anyways, okay. The next guy is Bane. Now, sort of. So, General Zod um, was the general. Well, well, he was from Krypton. And he landed in Russia. So, they sent out Kal El, who's the super, and um, Drew Zod were both sent out. Zod became the general of the Russian army. And uh, he was a test subject for their new Venom. Hold on. Then, uh, okay. Then, um, there we go. Quotation marks. Okay, um, theorem they were working on. And he applied. Remember, he still had his Kryptonian powers, and he still used them. Well, he was in the army. So, he realized he was far more powerful, and he pretty much felt the Russians no longer needed an army. Because he was one. So General Zod turned on the Russian army and became Bane. And then he also has some weapons right here. A dagger, two guns. Um, here's what he has without his helmet or his mask. And then there he is with the gen general hat and then the mask. Um, so I guess this could have been when he was General Zod. And then as Bane, he got this. I don't know. Or vice versa, something like that. Or it could... I don't know. Um. Yeah, let's look at this. I like, kind of like this better. Anyways, Bane. And I bet you're wondering, where was Dick Grayson when I mentioned all these people? Well, you see, Bruce had to cancel going to see the Flying Graysons that night because he was being attacked by Deadshot or some other villain. Anyways, he had to fight crime so there was nobody for Dick Grayson to take him in. So he ran away. And this is really weird. Anyways, he ran away and ended up becoming the villain known as the Robin. He's the Robin. That's why. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so it pretty much turned him mad a little bit too. So he thought, um, since um, police never um got Boss Zuko who was the guy that killed his parents, um, he thought he would get revenge 
by stopping them and trying to, I don't know, whatever, something like that. He tried to ambush, not uh, ambush, destroy the Gotham City Police Force as the Robin, but he didn't succeed, but, um, he's, yeah, anyways, he's the villain known as the Robin. Not just Robin, he's the Robin. Which, actually, the Robin sounds really cool. Last guy. Um. Now, this guy. His. Um. Two sons, Butler and wife, were all killed one night at 10.45. Okay, so, this drove him mad, and he became obsessed with weapons. This man's Thomas Wayne. Um, whose villain name's Wayne. Or just Thomas Wayne, I don't know. Yeah, so that is everybody for my, all of my members of the League, or not League, United Legion of Justice and its villains. Tell me which one was your favorite. Should I do these things again? Um, or never again? I'm just gonna... Line all these guys up. Yeah. Sorry this video is like... half an hour. But, to explain their origins... which were changed, I think it was an alright length... of time. So tell me which one is your favorite. Um... Why were they your favorite? Um, who do you think I should have added? Or should I add? Should I do these Mind Version Mondays again? Um, by the way, I'm filming on this on a Saturday. Whatever. Um, yeah, what origin was your favorite? And... Do you like any of these better than the official versions of them? You don't have to answer all those, I just would like you to answer some of them. Okay, so I'm going to paint over all these. We got Black Adam, Bane, Atlantean King, Captain uh, Frost, Green Guardian, Diana, Firefly, Red Hood, Flash. Yeah, what's a better name for my evil Flash? Um, Riddler, Thomas Wayne, Joker, The Robin, um, Bizarro, The Super Deadshot, <laughs> Super Deadshot, anyways, Deathstroke, Luther, The Martian, um, that is The Arrow, Bat Detective, and, uh, Night Spider. And here's the head for the green hat. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Should I do this again, guys? I, I'm, I don't know if I should or not. And should I do it every Monday or just every other Monday? Um, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, uh, subscribe, and uh, share. Oh, this video is like almost 35 minutes. Wait. Let's wait to make it 35. Thirty-five.